Oh, thank you. You guys are wonderful for being here on a Saturday. So thank you for coming. So I would like to start off by inviting Maria on up to the, the podium here. Maria. So Maria's going to be giving a little testimony on how her serving has helped her. Come on over here. So we can look together. And we have a gift for you. You do. Because she's been so dependable and so reliable. Yeah. You're always there for us. Yeah. I don't think she's ever said no to us. And spoils is right. And spoils is an amazing food. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it called out your name as it was on the shelf. That's so, you. Yes. Yeah, thank you. So thank please you. tell us your thank testimony. You. Yeah. Okay. Well, my name is Maria. I'm, I'm a grateful believer in Jesus Christ. I celebrate victory over codependency, but I still struggle with some poor habits. Welcome, Maria. Such is procrastination <laughs> and a resistance to exercise. <laughs> I'm being yeah. Yeah. Um, So today I want to share with you how I serve and keeps me connected to CR. First of all, let me say that CR has been an eye opener for me. The program has given me the time and ways to think about my habits, what those habits have done to me and for me. The time spent reading and learning of the steps and principles have been educational to me. This has been a healing journey as well as an awakening journey. So, because I have learned and certainly enjoyed my time here so far, it wasn't a big deal for me to serve. I started to serve in terms of setting up the information table and the tabletop baskets, only because I sensed then I was getting pretty busy doing everything before the meeting started. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. <laughs> <laughs> when I suggested that I could have the setups, he was grateful. At times it was a bit confusing to me, but there's but there really is no right way or wrong way to have the task done. As well, another way for me to serve was in the banking area. The church kitchen was shut down for six months, so I volunteered to bake a cake each week for our meeting. I love cooking and baking, so again, this wasn't a big task for me. Now, there are scientific benefits for serving, uh, and a lot more than what I have listed here. So the first one is altruism, and if you don't know what that means, it means it's an unselfish regard to the welfare of others. So altruism is contagious. Yeah. Number two, serving helps make us happy. Yeah. A part of our brain lights up when we help others. So we should be seeing some of these fireflies. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, that part of our brain that goes out to feel good chemicals like dopamine and possibly serotonin. And number three, we get relief from pain. Yeah, well. Volunteering takes our minds off of our pain and makes us feel more in control of it. And I can certainly testify to that. Yeah. Number four, it gives us a sense of purpose and satisfaction. Mm -hmm. When we volunteer, we often give ourselves a deeper purpose and meaning, and that nearly always leads to a greater happiness. So, my reason to serve is to be helpful and to lighten this load for another person. I feel my gifting is in cooking and hospitality. It's important to me that other people feel at ease. Also, with me being an extrovert, it makes it easier to make new guests feel at ease. If I wasn't involved in CR to my own healing, I wouldn't have made the friends I have today. Mm -hmm. I would probably still have an internal warring going inside my heart and my brain. My serving is a commitment to the group, therefore I'm responsible to be at the meetings. It takes several people to have our meetings run smoothly. It's all about involvement and it gives us a sense of ownership. Mm -hmm. Would you consider serving? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
So I forgot to introduce myself. I guess it's because I assume you might have me. So I'm Janet. And thank you. I'm a victorious over depression. And so I'm working some more on you know, low self esteem. I think we all probably have a little bit, maybe. <laughs> so uh, today we're going to be looking at the impact of care that's associated with serving. So we're going to start with C, which is compassion. We got her? Oh, there we go. Okay. So many people come to CR and usually they're frustrated or difficult week. They have low self-esteem, maybe self-doubt, or their self-image. People feel rejection or attacked by acts of service. We can give them a smile, a hug, and even just accepting them is a huge piece to getting them to keep coming back. Yeah. Yeah. Colossians 3, 12 says, therefore, as God's <laughs> chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, yeah. gentleness, and patience. Yeah. That's what CR serves. Yeah. And now we're going to go for A. A for acceptance. Accept people where they are, okay? Some attendees have started feeling or types of attitudes that can quickly change. Mm. Give them hope by understanding how they feel. Smiling, greeting, allow for the negative stress to lessen. For now, ignore the problem, not the person. Receive them as a whole. This allows both of us and them to grow in our faith. Mm. Romans 15 says, accept one another as Christ has accepted you. <laughs> So R, <laughs> is relationships. The Cross Talk Cafe is one of our most popular times. It allows us to create opportunities for connection, sharing our personal stories of God's power in our lives, building relationships with people who have marked good influences, and shows value to people in our time together as an investment for God. <laughs> First Thessalonians, that's some book. I said that right. Yes, you did. Ooh, that's a personal goal. <laughs> Two eight said, because we love you so much, we were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our lives as well. Mm -hmm. And then we're entering E for encouragement. When we serve regularly, we soon become familiar with those who attend the Celebrate Recovery. We learn more things about them, they have data on achievements, and we celebrate victories together. And when we see who we have missed, there are people who notice that we notice that they've missed, they feel important. It shows them that we care about them. This is encouragement that allows us to want them to come back and it allows them to build each other up, or us together, not them, but all of us, and brings us hope into God's perfect world. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 says, Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just in fact, as you are doing. That's one of the wonderful things about being an encouragement coach. I think it's a lot of fun. It is really easy to tell people how wonderful you are, you know, and being a part of having some fun games. So, literally, there is something to serve for everybody who has, maybe you want to, you know, build something within you. Maybe you're nervous about standing on stage like I am. This is a great way to learn some new skills for yourself. Okay, so the three benefits to serving. One is we grow in character and become Christ-like. Mm -hmm. Jesus was a servant. If we want to be like him, we shall also be servants. Yeah. Remember, nothing is too many old. You know, right. prayer requests, <laughs> you may think, oh, that's so easy. There's nothing, but that is huge. Yeah, okay? So no little thing is nothing, okay? Mm -hmm. This means someone who is greeting is just as important as someone who is setting up information table or who responds in. The other wonderful benefit to serving is our focus changes. Mm -hmm. Serving takes our eyes and attention off ourselves and our right. problems. It gives us something constructive to do. Yeah. And it builds us our low self-esteem. Yeah, As we search and work, we see the work that we're giving and we can see what they're getting out of it, and that's powerful. Yeah. We can also learn interpersonal skills as we work to contribute to others. Yeah. And then, last but not least, we practice good habits. Yeah. CR is about changing old habits and hang-ups into a new lifestyle and mindset, mm -hmm. including showing up regularly and being on time, which is pleasing to God, others, and ourselves. Mm -hmm. 
Romans 12, 2 says, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and prove what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. It's interesting to hear that, because you don't realize that until the impact you see in hindsight. He really does have a perfect will for you. So I hope that this will be a great start for you to open up your heart to him. So, I would like to invite Sheldon up next to Sir Roy. He would like to serve. Yes, Sheldon. <laughs> morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for uh, letting me come up here. Uh, I'm a little nervous about this too, but uh, you are Sheldon. Hi, Sheldon. And I'm a great believer in Jesus Christ, and I'm here to uh, sustain victory over sexual addiction. Welcome. Um, so, Shirley asked me to come up here and uh, uh, do a little talk on why I want to serve and uh, at the CR. And uh, so, my journey began in, uh, well, part of it. Focus on that, October 7, uh, 2017. I was uh, separated from my wife. Uh, I was living in the basement uh, of my daughter's place. And uh, I wasn't doing very well. I was depressed and sad, and I was feeling totally, totally hopeless. Uh, my wife and I had been trying to you know, start over, renew our relationship, kind of do the dating thing, and uh, it wasn't going well. Um, it, it didn't look like it was going to be successful. And uh, I look back and I can see myself in that basement suite uh, on my knees, uh, just crying out to God and uh, looking for answers and, and asking him to tell me what to do. I kind of visualized David there when I read some of the songs, I was just crying out to, to, to God. That's kind of how I saw myself. Yeah. And uh, at the same time, uh, while I was um, doing that, my wife was uh, doing her own thing and she was watching some videos, YouTube videos on relationships and marriages and infidelity and that sort of thing. And, um, at the same time, I believe Jesus came to both of us and uh, just about the time I finished crying out and, and, and this sort of thing, uh, she texted me to come. Oh, yeah. sorry, That's to come cool. back home right now. Wow. And uh, so um, I believe that uh, God had spoken to both of us at that time. Yeah. And uh, my desire to have a relationship with Jesus really started to grow at that time. And uh, I believe my life forever would change there. Mm -hmm. The next step was about a year ago. Uh, my wife actually um, had a friend at the church here, and uh, um, she asked us to come to help us. So we did that, and uh, man, that was amazing. That was kind of the next step in my journey, and really started to, uh, to you know, give me the desire to, to seek more of a relationship with Jesus. And, uh, and be more involved with Christianity. And uh, it was really powerful for our whole team. We had a really great table at, at uh, Alpha. And Pastor Valley was our facilitator there, so that was great too. And um, we just didn't want it to end. So we, um, Pastor Valley uh, offered to continue with some Bible study with us for the rest until summer. And so we did that with our one lady's house and continued to do that. And, and uh, I mean, I just was yearning for more and more information and knowledge and stuff. So, so that was great. And, uh, and then about the same time, Pastor Valley was talking about, uh, during church, about how many volunteers that were here at the church, and uh, I was just amazed. I used to have like 250 volunteers, sometimes I don't know what we the numbers, but, and he was encouraging us to serve, and so um, it was something I wanted to do. I didn't know where initially I wanted to serve, uh, so I started on the website and went to some things and, and saw CR and, and thought that... Uh, uh, maybe that was where I could be of some use. I had been at, at that time, uh, so this is like 2019, uh, I had been in another 12 step group for two years and uh, had some success and was learning some things and I was uh, feeling pretty good about myself. And uh, I was actually maybe a little cocky when I came to the meeting and thought, man, I'm going to make a difference here. I'm going to help some people and, you know, I'm a man. So I got the information, I came to the warehouse, and it was actually during the celebration night in September, I think, something like that. <coughs> I introduced myself to the and said, you know, I'm here to, to help, I want to serve the CR, and um, what can I do? And uh, he was really good, and he actually said to me after that, oh, you know, a lot of people come here and, and want to help them do this stuff, and, and 
what it would be exactly how I was on the inside. But he thought I was pretty humble and uh, and looked like I wanted help, and, and I'm, I'm grateful for that because he actually didn't see what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it wouldn't take long. I heard some testimonies. Carl was up there doing what I believe in, and uh, I found that I was pretty humbled by the whole situation, and I realized that uh, I was brought here to um, get some more giving myself. Mm-hmm. And so I just finished that 12 step group. Woo! Uh, with, uh, <laughs> And uh, so that actually, I think it was that meeting, I, it was mentioned about it, and uh, I looked to see, it, or asked if I could get into it, and it started, I think, the next week. So I don't know who was moving pieces of that part there, but I think it was <laughs> And uh, I might be group there too. There's a couple of guys here, and Daniel Lee, Don is our co and co leader, and uh, Lama. Um, that was just another example of the Lord being in there. And, Coming into us and just pulling us all up and growing us all. And it was, uh, wow, it's been an incredible experience. And, uh, and, uh, you know, the, the amount of growth I've seen in uh, those guys and myself, it's, uh, it's good. It's good. And, uh, you know, it's grown my desire even more to, uh, want to help people to feel you know, what I got out of this, this situation. Hopefully, more of a humble, uh, way. So, <laughs> Thanks very much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's easy to have tears, but you know, they're tears of joy, yeah. not tears of sorrow, right? Come on, dude. Knowing what God can do for you is so humbling. So, you know, Sheldon, I'm sure you've been humbled. So, <laughs> yeah. Thanks for your testimony. So again, every position is important. Okay, yeah. so showing up, being prepared, being on time, keeps us accountable and contributes to the effort of the team. Serving shows that you uh, see your ministry and your see our families, you care about them. And when everyone does their part, the whole evening runs smoothly. It's kind yeah. of like a puzzle. Without that last piece, it just isn't a complete picture. Mm-hmm. That's what we all are. So every little piece matters. So everyone who took part in serving, we can achieve so much more. Serving doesn't take hours away from your hectic week. It really is literally just little, little. You won't even notice that. <laughs> uh, serving, okay, uh, yes. Yeah, so the more time you can, the more people that can contribute, the less time it will take out of you. So yeah. open your hearts, give yourself up uh, to God, and help Him serve, so that He can serve you. Okay. So now we have some handouts, if you'd like to take a look at them. We have three different areas, uh, Monday evening large group, and we have behind the scenes, and then we have step, uh, group leaders and co-leaders. So we <coughs> start with the evenings. Oh, I'm sorry. This hand out here that's got the question of your phone number and all that, so we need to contact you. Okay, everyone got that? Okay. So, we're hoping that all of you will check the box of some sort, even if you're nervous, you know. We, there's training. You're not expected to know what to do, okay? So, remember that. So, there's a worship team leader, sound setup and orient or operation. Readers, the lead reading and steps principles, lead serenity prayer, <coughs> open share and leader or co-leader, worship team, singer, instrumentalist, computer and media, and also you will be trained for that, so you're not expected to know what works, you know, it's not going to be too terribly hard to learn that. And large group welcoming for the opening announcements. Uh, there's offering to usher, so if you're nervous about serving, something as simple as ushering is really easy. And uh, intro to CR 101 group leader, and that's fun too. It's really just getting to know people and, you know, telling them how you got here. And that's really good if you want to interact with people. And on the back, there are other scene, uh, service areas. One is behind the scenes, crosstalk cafe setup. Arranging bulletins and handouts, weekly prayer, CR requests, 
a help with administration of phone calls, posting schedules, so if you like an MVP, if you're bored, you've got nothing to do, that'd be a great topic for you. Uh, help maintaining uh, LSC or CR Facebook pages, so people that are like their social media, that might be a great place for you. And maybe there's something that you can offer that you've noticed that we need a service in, and maybe you can have your input. Maybe there's something you can help us create. A crosstalk cleanup, info table and setup, and then help with child care. And that's a big thing. We want CR to grow up. We'd like to really try to get child care to the kind of an issue. And then finally, there's this 12 step setup group. Okay, so we have the 12 step leader. Now, in order to be the leader in the 12 step, you have to have completed just one of those before you be a leader. So that way it shows that you understand what you're doing and, and the people can trust you. And then the journey continues to step step study leader. You must have done both, okay, to be able to uh, check those boxes. The co-leader, that's open to anybody who's new, who wants to feel what it would be like to be a leader. I really encourage that. It's simple. There's nothing hard to do. You don't have no work. So, yeah, so I thank you for offering the service in the Celebrate Recovery Ministry. And then please return your forms to one of the co-leaders. And so I'll just give you some time to take care of that. And then we'll go from there. Thank you. Thank you, Janet. Welcome. <laughs>